I'm alive. It's alive. It's alive. What's up, YouTube? NWN here, aka Young Negro, catch him in the Dota region flexing, and welcome back to It Came From Steam. Now, in case you don't know, this is a show where I debunk the myth that PC has no exclusives. I try to find at least three things that I like and dislike about a game, and then I share them with you guys. Today's topic of discussion is Nazgoth. It's a free-to-play human vs. vampires PvP game that's currently in closed beta, and here's my thoughts on it. The game is fast-paced, vertical, bloody, and chock full of cool special moves. Best part of it all is Nazgoth promotes teamwork. You will get your ass kicked if you don't move as a unit, and I love that aspect of the game. Map design, it's great as well. It's not one map from the beta that I hate, and all of them cater to both the human and the vampire style of play. Matchmaking needs improvement. Only four friends can party up, and when you join a game, it's always one person from your party who's on the opposite team. I'm not sure if this is on purpose or if this is a glitch, but either way, it's annoying because it defeats the purpose of even having a party system. Both humans and vampires have multiple classes with different strengths and weaknesses. This adds a layer of strategy to the game that's welcome as well as variety and fun. Humans fight from long distances, they throw fire, AoE, flash grenades and more. Vampires are very close range, fast, they can climb, fly, and use various other moves. When you first start playing the game, vampires might feel a little bit OP, but the more you play, you'll quickly find out that 9 times out of 10, your teamwork was just terrible when you're playing as the humans because to be honest, the ranger class is a bit OP. This game can be really fun, but can also be very frustrating because people love to camp when they play as the human. They'll often pick a corner of the map and then just stay there waiting for the vampires. That way they can always see you when you're coming and can't be attacked from behind. It just ruins the fun just like camping in any other game. This is a free to play title with lots of customization. You can earn virtual currency through playing well or purchasing it with real money and it can be spent on different cosmetics, special abilities, weapon rentals or permanent weapon purchases. And don't worry, none of the weapons that I've seen for purchase are OP but don't quote me on that because this is still in closed beta and things are subject to change. Although it's a lot of customization, the prices in the store are too high. It takes forever and a day to save up for a new weapon or outfit which is Square's way of trying to get you to buy currency with real money. It sucks, but that's the way the cookie crumbles with these free to play titles. An action game like this on PC looks like it'd be weird to play, but the controls are very well done and feel natural. You click to attack, shift to run and climb, Q and R for your special moves, and that's about it. Very easy game to pick up and play on PC, but there is controller support for those who want to be controller warriors. Game modes are lacking. Right now there's just team deathmatch and they recently added siege mode which is similar to Gears of War's annex mode where there's a point on the map that's marked and then you must hold that to score points. I spent most of my time playing TDM and I've enjoyed it, but I'd like to see a capture the flag mode and maybe some other things. But that being said, this is still in beta, so more things are to come. It's just at the moment it's lacking. The game is only in closed beta and it shows so much potential. Core gameplay is polished, graphics are nice, really haven't encountered any bugs or frame drops. It's fast and it's just fun to play with friends. The game shows so much potential in its early stages. I mean, all they need to do is just tweak a few things for the final release. So there you have it, folks. I gave you four things that I like dislike about the game. If you'd like to play it, I'll leave a link in the description box below to where you can sign up. I'll also be giving away some beta codes during my next live stream, so make sure to follow me at hitbox.tv slash monowarnegro. Just keep in mind that everything in this game is still in beta at the time of this video's release, so things are subject to change. I cannot stress that enough. Now what isn't subject to change is monowarnegro.com being the new number one stop shop for all things geek. We post the latest gaming news, previews, reviews, anime, comics, and music. Hell, you can even submit your own article. I'd like to thank you guys for watching but my city needs me.